Hello and welcome to TEPSA Explainers. My name is Mark Harwood and I am Director of the Institute for European Studies at the University of Malta. Today I'm going to be speaking about Maltese Euroscepticism and if there's one thing I'd like you to take from this video it's that basically, um, as with other countries, Euroscepticism in the Maltese context is very much a reflection of domestic politics and therefore how to deal with it is also very much uh, embedded in the domestic context. Malta was the only country from the 2004 accession states where you saw a significant part of the population, nearly 50%, and one of the two major parties opposed to EU membership. Um, that opposition was not just a reflection of the tendency for politics to be polarised in Malta, but was also a reflection uh, of left-wing parties in the Mediterranean, such as PASOK, being historically against the idea of joining the European community. And in the case of Malta, it was the Social Democrats who were opposed to Malta joining. However, after the 2003 referendum on EU membership, which was won by those in favour, and the ensuing general election, which was also won by the Christian Democrats, the Malta Labour Party changed its position and uh, began to advocate in favour of membership. The result of this is that party-based Euroscepticism in Malta effectively ended at that point, and now many would even argue that the Socialists are even more pro-European Union than historically the Christian Democrats were in Malta. What we are seeing is that there is a tendency now for a much more traditional form of Euroscepticism on the right side of the political spectrum emerging. Uh, minor parties which do not gain uh, that many votes in national elections but have done relatively well in European Parliament elections have emerged uh, and some of these have been blatantly fascist as with the Imperium Europa. And it's very much within the context of um, immigration issues with people, um, uncontrolled migration coming from Africa, but also a heavy influx of migrant workers coming from Europe. Malta now has the largest population growth rate in the European Union, and this is a reflection of its very strong economic growth. But it is putting huge pressure on things such as the free national healthcare system and the free educational system with the result that you are getting fringe parties emerging, uh, questioning the degree to which Malta should be allowing free movement of workers, especially because of its EU membership. Ultimately, these parties are not able to enter the mainstream politics, but it's clear that for Euroscepticism to remain uh, a thing of the past in Malta, we actually wish to maintain the status quo. And in particular, most Maltese political parties are against the idea of a federal Europe. They are great, they're against such initiatives as tax harmonisation. And therefore, to maintain that low engagement with Euroscepticism uh, in the Maltese context, we very much have to see the EU remaining very much as it is. Mm -hmm.